guys, my name is Srinidhi. I've been working with an academy for a few months now. Uh, I teach English grammar on this platform. You guys can follow my other lessons by following me on Unacademy by downloading the Unacademy Learning app on your phone. You can also check out our YouTube channel. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn a lot about subject verb agreement. I've already done a lesson on it, but in this particular lesson, we're going to go in depth. So I hope this one helps you guys. Thank you. Hey guys, we know this course is all about small topics. We've been doing all about gerounds and then we moved on to infinitives. We finished present participle, past participle. So I've been uh, asked by quite a few of y'all to do a lesson on subject verb agreement. So here it is. So yes, I've done a lesson on it before in my in my previous courses, but the lessons that I'm going to make, see, now the two lessons are going to be subject verb agreement because there are quite a few rules and I want to go in detail about them because these are very, very important. So let's get started without any ado. So uh, a subject must always agree with the verb. So we know what a subject is. A subject is uh, something that the entire sentence talks about. It usually comes at the beginning of the sentence and it must always agree with the verb. If the subject is singular, you must take, you must give a singular verb. If the subject is plural, you always take a plural verb. Okay. And uh, look at the example. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, she plays guitar very well. So she is a subject. Play is a verb. So play is a verb. The conjugation of to play is I play, you play, he or she plays. So when it is she, I must write plays. I cannot write she play. Okay, so the sentence is, she plays the guitar very well. That's perfect. Whereas, look at the sentence that is in red. It is wrong. That's exactly why it is in red. Okay, she played the guitar very well. No, that's bad because subject is singular, whereas the verb you're giving is plural. Okay, so the subject and the verb must go hand in hand. Okay, now moving on. For These are the rules. The following slides contains the rules with examples. So, please pay attention. The first one is two singular subjects connected by the words either or neither nor require a single verb. Okay, so there are two single subjects which are connected by the words like either or neither nor. You will automatically take a singular verb. Okay, even though there are two subjects. Okay, for example, neither John nor Paul is av available. So neither nor is there. John and Paul are two single subjects. So I'm not saying John and Paul's kids. I'm saying John and Paul. Both are singular verbs. Okay. And the, look at the verb. It is is. It is in singular. Okay. It is singular in nature. So when there is neither nor and two single, singular subjects, the verb is always singular. Okay. Look at the next example. You can either ask Rihanna or Bruno to teach you how to sing. So, either or the words Rihanna, Rihanna and Bruno. So, two singular subjects. So, obviously, so in this example, I've given you an infinitive. So, with this, you can also use an infinitive. Either Rihanna or Bruno, you can, e you can ask either of them to teach you how to sing. Okay? Now, the verb in an or either neither nor sentence so when the sentences contain either or neither nor okay the the verb agrees with the noun or the pronoun closest to it for example neither the plates nor the serving bowl goes on that shelf so pay attention even in the previous sentence we had either or neither nor but we had two singular subjects here we're not going to have two singular subjects okay so there are there is neither and nor in the sentence plates and bowl so plates is plural bowl is singular so the verb is after bowl which is singular so the verb is singular in nature okay neither the plates nor the serving bowl goes on that shelf i cannot say neither the plates nor the serving bowl go on that shelf no wrong okay look at the next example the same example I've taken, but I have uh, interchanged the positions of the singular and the plural noun in the sentence. So, neither the serving bowl nor the plates go on that shelf. So, here the verb is go. Since it is, in, it is plural because it is agreeing to the noun that is closest to it, 
which is plates and which is plural in nature okay that is what this rule says okay so either or neither nor in a sentence and you have uh, say one plural uh, subject and one singular subject the verb will agree to the noun or the pronoun which is closest to it so if the noun or the pronoun is plural the verb will be plural if the noun or the pronoun is singular the verb will be singular okay now as a general rule use a plural verb with two or more subjects when they are connected by the word and so it's a general rule so when you have a plural verb with two or more subjects and it is connected by the word and obviously the verb will be plural in nature for example a car and a bike so we have two singular subjects more sub two or more subjects and it is connected by and so obviously the verb will take plural form so a car and a bike are my means of transportation okay look at the uh, so obviously this is english grammar we have exceptions all the time so exception is in case of compound nouns so i've done a lesson on nouns please to go back and watch it if you don't know what a compound noun is so when you have compound noun in the sentence it changes for example the bed and breakfast was charming so i cannot say the bread and breakfast were charming bread and breakfast is a compound noun it goes hand in hand right the bed and breakfast was charming so never put were charming with compound nouns compound nouns are the nouns uh, which go <coughs> two or more uh, nouns put together and and will be a prominent part of those kind of nouns okay so in please pay attention just because there is and don't put a plural verb here okay now so here is an exercise if you guys want to take it in the form of a test please pause the video do the test the answers are in the following slide so let's do the sentences individually now annie and her brothers are at school okay so it is simple annie and her brothers are at school okay now either my mom or my dad is coming to the meeting because we learned that sentences with either, either or and two singular subjects the verb is singular so either my mom or my dad is coming to the meeting the dogs or the cats are outside are because we have or in the sentence and we have a singular subject and a plural subject so obviously the verb will agree to the noun that is closest to it so the noun that is closest to it is cats which is plural in nature so the dog or the cats are outside okay ben doesn't know the answer so i cannot say ben don't know the answer it is i don't know the answer you don't know the answer he or she doesn't know the answer so ben doesn't know the answer next one the man with all the dogs dash on my street the man with all the dogs lives on my street okay so we're talking about the man here so man with all the dogs lives on my street okay now please pay attention i'm going to repeat the answers annie and her brothers are at school either my mom or my dad is coming to the meeting the dog or the cats are outside ben doesn't know the answer the man with all the dogs lives on my street so here's the slide that contains the answers if you guys have any doubts at all please drop it in the comment section so i'll see you guys in the next lesson where we will learn more about subject verb agreement more rules so in this lesson we learned about three or four rules so we will continue to learn more rules okay so i'll see you in the next lesson bye bye